New at 6 o'clock, a legal battle over a big Texas name. The gas station mega chain Bucky's is suing a man in Sugarland over claims that his stores are confusingly similar to their brand's famous name. Our Bill Spencer live in Rosenberg tonight at one of those locations at the center of a lawsuit. Bill? Chris and Dominique, attorneys say this is a case of trademark infringement, and this is a copy of the federal lawsuit right here. The famous Bucky's saying that this Bucky's in Rosenberg has essentially taken their name and also their logo. Look at the red letters, the big B in the front, and the big S at the end. Now this case is going to court. Walking into the Bucky's convenience store on Avenue G in Rosenberg, you would never mistake this place for the world famous Bucky's that Texans have visited for close to 40 years now. The two stores have similar names and fonts. At the famous Bucky's, they have dozens of gasoline pumps. This one has zero gasoline pumps. At the famous Bucky's, they have huge, sparkling clean restrooms with a plethora of stalls. At this Bucky's, there's one bathroom with a toilet and little else. And where the famous Bucky's has a multitude of fresh made snacks, this place has a selection of soda pop cans. Folks we spoke to in Rosenberg can tell the difference. Is there any way you would mistake that place for the real Bucky's? There's absolutely no possible way I would ever mistake that. The real Bucky's is big. You have a gas station, you have selections that you can go through in the store. They got a lot of candy. Even so, now the Bucky's we all know and love is suing this Bucky's in Rosenberg and El Campo, accusing the owner of copying its name and design. In the federal lawsuit, attorneys say the logo is confusingly similar to the Bucky's trademark. We spoke to the owner of this Bucky's, 25 year old Serene Damani. We were not planning to fight them to begin with, and neither are we planning to fight them right now. We're going to try to find a resolution and just get things done with. Damani says he never meant to steal the famous Bucky's name, that his store name is actually pronounced Bookies, a name that his friends used to call him when he was a kid. Again, the owner of this store, Bookies, as he calls it, says he is not planning to fight the famous Bucky's in court, not fight it in any way. I asked him if he was going to change the name of this place. He wouldn't answer that question. He says simply they're going to work this problem out with the famous Bucky's. Reporting live in Rosenberg, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. Aha, so it's Bookies. Bookies, Bookies and Bucky's. Mm.